hits central Florida. Irma is expected to make landfall near southwest Florida. That is expected to happen in about a day and a half, but Miami will start feeling the effects. Strong wind and heavy rain as early as tomorrow afternoon. New six anchor Eric Von Inken is in Miami tonight with how the city is about as ready as it is going to be. Miami is shut down tonight. Look at this. So this is US 1 Biscayne Boulevard where I'm standing in the middle of. Normally on a Friday night, there would be a traffic jam. The few people who are left are holed up in their high rises because there's nothing open on the street. You can tell from the wind, the storm is coming. And everyone, for the most part, is going away from here. The streets are empty. Stores, restaurants, and most hotels are all closed. These women from North Carolina tried to go. But our flights we got moved canceled. them up. We moved them up. We found some flights that were for earlier dates, which was supposed to be yesterday. Then those got canceled. Emergency managers from Key Biscayne, after shutting down the island, have moved their command center to this hurricane-proof hotel. That's what all the boxed meals are for. We don't know what the, what the storm surge will be. Uh, it will flood, you know, to certain points in certain areas. Plywood and steel are everywhere. Forecasters are predicting up to nine feet of water on the streets. That's enough to flood the first floor of all of these high rises. We're getting ready for um, a mega, mega, mega beast of a hurricane. Uh, Irma. The ones who've lived here long enough, like David Wallach, owner of the iconic Miami Beach nightclub Mangoes, vividly remember the last mega beast to hit Miami, Hurricane Andrew, 25 years ago. It, it can make you feel very, very small uh, when you're in the face of such awesome power. And, and Irma coming the way it's rated is unlike anything we've seen yet. Time is running out to leave, and so are options. The airport rental car counter closed at 5 p.m. this evening. The last flight out was about an hour and a half ago. Covering Irma from Miami, Eric Von Aiken, News 6.